What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video on Scoop's World and it's your boy Scoop. And today we have a throwback video. It's going to be a day in the life with the number one high school basketball player in the nation's father. I'm talking about DeWan Wagner. DeWan Wagner was the number six draft pick in the 2002 draft, I believe, to the Cavaliers. He was one and done at Memphis. He was John Calipari's first one and done. And now his offspring, his seed, DJ Wagner, is the number one sophomore in high school basketball and potential um, first round draft pick in the NBA draft in like three, four, or five years. I don't know if I'm doing math. So if you're a person who loves sports, whether it's the NBA, college basketball, or watching the top high school basketball recruits in the world, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Comment below what's your thoughts on DJ Wagner and his pop, Dewan Wagner, and like up the video. Stay tuned. It's yours. Four. Five. Get ready for the NBA version of Bowling for Dollars. So, when it comes to DeJuan and DJ, DeJuan is definitely more life. athletic. But I think DJ got the better That's jumper. That's you know the hood. OG. Live ESPN and Mac, this is throwback. Early 2000. A pile of steel and stone. It just kind of fell on the banks of Lake Erie. Right. Cleveland is a great city. To compare it to New York, it's more open. Those what? apartments there. Did he just say Cleveland's better than New York. Put up within the last more year. Way. The people here are friendly. We got a fresh new mayor that's doing wonderful things for the city. But we're not no disrespect to Cleveland, but a championship I'm pretty sure. You got a New York shirt on. What are you talking about? Football or baseball. Unemployment okay. is high here. Yeah. Times are just as tough. Even the hood, low key. Depends what part you go to. They haven't put much on the court in years. And yeah. not a lot of interest. Or yeah, even when the long was today with Loki Cheeks. Until LeBron came like year three, Cleveland Cavaliers was cheap. We get that the Indians was cheap. You know the Browns was super cheap. Going over at least for the next five to ten years. I can't believe old head just said Cleveland better than New York, but you got New York jersey. What are we talking about? Cleveland. Hope comes in the shape of the NBA draft. The Messiah. The chance to add a star. Maybe Dewan Wagner. The Cavs let the life into this private workout. For those of you who don't know, Dewan Wagner was a bucket. 100 points in one game. If I'm not mistaken, he's the New Jersey leading scorer for prayer in points. Workouts, I try to make the players uncomfortable. Over three stats. You know, I try to act John like Lucas. And Jump on Man, that's John Luke the head coach. Tell him some things one or two times. That was a young puppy. They got the gun. They got two guns in there. Okay. You look mm. for players mm. who have the knack to play. I really look in the eyes to see if they got life to them, hunger. Because on this level, if all the talent's the same, it's the drive. And a lot of those guys got the drive. They jump for money, but I think DJ got a better jumper. Y'all don't be real with y'all. But the one is definitely way more athletic. Followed him all the way through grade school, all the way up, and know a lot about him. He's a great, great talent. It's going to be a great pro, and he's going to make some team very, very good. Man, the one was a bucket before buckets was buckets. And he wants to be a star. Money. Chicago. Next stop on the tour. To be the best, you learn from the best. Dewan spends each day with the man who trains his airness. Michael okay. Jordan. This is the city of basketball right here, you know. This is one of the basketball makers too. So you know, sure. there's a lot going on down here though. You got something like that? Nah, I ain't get my rooms yet. You get spinning like rooms? I don't know. Mike. <laughs> I've been out here for like a month and a half. You know, just training right out, getting stronger, getting in shape. You know, really just had it in my business. Right? You already worked out? Straight up. No, we just, we just got like we're 
That brown bra? That brown bra? I'm trying to go to the league. Oh, what's the pin? I'm trying to wait a couple years. You know, so I'm just trying to get ready. Let's go down and back one. Bonnie, too high, too high. There you go, there you go. One dribble, shot, so one dribble, shot, one dribble, shot, one dribble, shot, go all the way. Put your so you perspective. Like five shots. He's Put getting ready down. for the go. draft. Go. See, there you go, that's it. That means Brown Brown, Brown Brown like the no, sophomore no, junior in high school working that's out it. with him. That's what I want to see. You, know, you do the math. Work out with him. And you know, most of the guys in the league that you see doing work this year in the league, he worked with them too. So Facts. I had to come out here and work out with him. Remember what I told Catch you, him. don't think this is your last shot. Good job, let's go. Cover some distance on the move. Get away from your defensive man. Three, let's go. The younger guys flawless. have understood what it more, took for Michael and Scotty and Charles and the rest of them to get to the places where they're at. And me, and they're, you know, they're going, I know Buck's back in the day. You can just come in and joke you around. Ain't no this is, this is, yeah. this is something serious. This is the hard part right here. The life. <laughs> the game, okay? Yeah, they came there once. The life. Ooh. This is my life. This is my life. This is my life. Let's go. Yeah, that's it. There you go. All yeah, yeah, get, get, get them hops down. right. Yes, yes, sir. Me getting old, you know, my uncle passing away. He meant a lot to me. A couple Word. years ago, my grandpa. Passing away, you know, he was he mean a lot to me too. You know, this was his dream too. My first one I covered it this year. It was just a little basketball court. Hey. Basketball you know when you cover your ball, first tattoo, that thing was dope. Like I yeah. Tried, I had to cover that. Yeah. Canvas fire. Yeah, you get a tattooed in somebody's front yard. Yeah. This uh, all lies on me. You know, just feel like everybody watching you, you know, when you playing basketball. What's the name? City of Canada when I was young, you know, Messiah. And I just mean God on the Second court. coming. Got the milk. Oh, spin. Oh, uh, and one. In Canada, nah, I ain't Jersey, Hooping is religion. And the message from the mountain top is clear. Is that a carry or what, what we call that the hood? Uh. Jumper. Ooh. He is a classic high school phenom. Um, you know, Camden has had their share, but uh, I don't think anybody has had this type. Hey, I remember back in the day, East Camden Boys and Girls Club, your boys averaging 25. It's facts. It's facts. Drop about 25 tonight. It's facts. Yeah. Type of impact. Mm, 360. Was I wasn't doing that, though. One of the best high school players uh, you know, in the last couple of years. And had he come out of high school in the NBA, he cast the puppy. More than likely, he would have been a lottery pick. College took him to Memphis. Memphis, when it done. His dad, Milt, a former nba -er, went along as an assistant coach. Uh-huh, Colin Perry hooked him up. Compared to right, yo, man, star, yo. A guy named A.I. Same top high school player. I got a nice little position Allen for you. I mean, he's actually bigger and Come stronger. Through. And he loves to take contact. Uh, yeah, and for he sure. finish. He started working out with Alan from the time he was in ninth grade up at Temple, and those two. Yeah, I know that. An unusual bond, and I. I know he worked out with me that Ronnie takes a lot of his game from Alan. Damn. In Camden, they tell a story about an old man who kissed his grandson and promised, someday you'll be the second coming to this city. The Messiah. You're going to bring Camden light. The little boy was Dewan Wagner. This right here, you know, this is where I get my heart from right here. You know, Centerville Project. You know, that means a lot to me. That's my heart. I grew up in this house right here. And you know, I still got the same neighbors, too. These the same people that lived here when I was coming up. You know, we all close out here. You know, just growing up in Camden. One thing you know you gon' you know you gonna have is heart. You know right middle the hood. I love my city, man. You know, there's a lot of stuff that go on in Canada. You know, you had a lot of bad stuff. But there's some good stuff that come out of Canada too. You know, yeah, I mean, life is what you make it. You know, I think that's where I get my heart from by living in that type of environment. Yeah, that's what we wear right here, white t shirts. 
Cause you can tell that <laughs> Big white cheese. It was hard not being here. That's you crazy. Still gotta get used to it. A bunch of white you know, cheese in the hood. From now on, my family around right here, we got support. And they gonna find a way to get to me. They got the you cameras out, you know what I'm Got the fresh braid, you know what I mean? AI jersey. I got the camera out. Hey, yo. Life. Oh, I can braid my hair. Man. For real? Yeah. Stop playing, man. <laughs> Stop <laughs> playing. For real? For real? Out here, we play <laughs> a game called Rough Outs. Rough Outs? You know, this is where me and my dad came to play our wars at. Two dribbles. You only get two mm. dribbles to score. Two dribbles? So I just started beating like three years ago. So it used to be Wolves. Two, out not there, three? Man. Two? But well, now I got it now, though. Gotta have a quick first step. Beat me again. People in Canada love my dad. You know, they treat him like a legend. You go anywhere, and you know, people say Mil Mil Wagner was a Mil good player. You know, at Louisville. Louisville. You know, there's a lot of pros. Be telling me that you know, they love my dad gang when he played. What's up, Bill? Yes, sir. The Messiah coming straight up to a place yeah. near you. He ain't in here yet. But he will be on the next one sooner or later. He will be. Let's call him the Messiah. Young, yo, young is chill out. Let me get to this story. Let me see. Let me see. Let me get to this story. Because you can't stop the Messiah. You dig me? You know, playing basketball, you know, that was my life because my dad did it. You know, he yeah. won a championship in high school, college, and in the NBA. So he's seen it all. And what I'm going to do right now, he went through it. So yeah. I know what to expect. You know what? <laughs> Yo, that's what's up, man. That's what's up. It's going to be Wagner's ballroom real soon. It's got to be cool for yeah, you. Know, this is my family right here. You know, I it's crazy because they're doing the same thing for DJ. He like, don't even know. I've been around the right people all my life. You know, my people mom even know. know about the game from my dad playing. So, you know, but I, I can't get stirred wrong. It's here now, though. You know, I make the best of it. Just can't hey. stop working. It's a throwback for real, yo. Gotta find the right ball. Here, right here. Hey. The last scene of DJ's day in life, UNC, the link will be below in the description. DJ, you threw a gutter ball. You keep it real. Oh! We talk a lot of trash to each other. Bro, go for everybody here, I am. But I think uh, this is my night right here. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's on. You know, it's getting closer to closer to my dream, and uh, I'm very excited. And that's what's good with that hair. I'm just ready to see what's coming next. I'm just versatile. You know, I, I ain't here back in 02 as well. Knock down outside shots. The Ron Butler. Good leader. Like, putting your percentages on, what do you consider your range? Like, I think it's, you know, anywhere, you know, just, I would say the top five. That's fair enough. You never know what, what pick you're going and, and things like that. Chris but Wilcox. I mean, like, you know, that's my story. So where is Camden's finest going to go? The thing is, nobody's going to tip their hand to the 26. I've seen him mention as high as fifth to Denver or even fourth to Memphis or as late as 10. You know, if he ever ended up playing in Philadelphia, then, you know, they, they'd guarantee themselves 10,000 season tickets. If you had to predict yep. right now, where would you be going? It's really up there. More than likely, he's going to be somewhere between 6 and 10. Um, six being the, the Cavaliers, seven he being the six. Knicks. I don't see him getting out of the top ten. Uh, for him to get into that top six, it really depends what Bryant? happens at the top of the draft. How you doing, everyone? Doing a lot of questions. A lot of questions. What, what was the stupidest question you got asked? It was a lot of them. <laughs> it was a lot of straight, though. I love it with number one. But, you know, Facts. you just got to go handle your business, you know, at them workouts and see what you can do, but you can't worry about that. You know, I'm just a basketball player. I'm going to play anywhere. Oh, you want to drive, work out, we got buckets. All right, man, that's going to do it for the video, man. We all know he got drafted number six for the Cavs. Um, had a pretty good rookie year, then got sick. But, uh, yeah, it's time for DJ's turn, his son. And um, 
I think if they change the rules, I still think he's going to go to college for one year. Even if they change the rules, I think DJ will go to college. He's going to go to Kentucky for one year when they're done. You heard it here first on Scoops World. But, I um, mean, like I said in the beginning, if you're a person who loves sports, whether it's the NBA, college basketball, or high school basketball, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Comment below your thoughts on DeWan and his son DJ and like up the video. But until next time.